Republic left, and we blindly follow the orders of the United Nations. Who likes the United Nations in the room? We do have an organizational chart of the House District. The bulk of these positions do need to be filled uh, by the people in this room today. These leadership opportunities uh, range from a few hours, to, uh, a, few hours uh, a week to a few hours per month. Uh, you should all have an organizational chart. Uh, I invite you to look it over, and if you have uh, skills that would fit well on those leads to those committees, uh, we can show you the help. And in 2010, our elections will be city council elections in Frederick, Columbia Heights, and Hilltop, school board elections in Columbia Heights, and then as well as state house and state senate. If you know, if you're sitting out there and you're thinking that you know better than, uh, I, I hear the word Yahoo a lot, and the Yahoo is down in St. Paul, no, come talk to us and let us know that if you'd like to run and we'll get you set up. <coughs> if we come together as a group tonight and perform our duties as members of our great republic, we will be victorious in November. I can promise you that. Now, we do have a few speakers. And these will all be people who ran uh, for election in 2008, and uh, Ray Anderson had run for Senate in 2006. Uh, we will start with uh, Ted Landwehr, who was victorious in the school board election in 2008. Well, I'll be really brief uh, tonight. Uh, my message tonight is we can win. We can win in this district. Yes, but we need to work together. We have to work 10 times harder than the Democrats because of the district that we're in. But we can do it if we band together, if we give of our time, of our money. If we all do it together, we can win, and we must win in this district. First, I want to welcome you to the Columbia High Schools. I'm, I'm the lone conservative uh, school board member in Columbia Heights, but I'm happy to be so. I'm happy to come to the school board meetings and represent our point of view in, on a board that really needs it and really needs to hear that the schools exist to educate students, to be efficient, to use our resources and not take more from the people than we have to, to do that. Because you all know more how to best uh, care for your families than the school district does. And so that's my message. So we need two more people just like me on the school board and we can get a lot done. That's all we need. And so I would encourage all of you to, if you have any interest, and, and to me there's no more important position to affect the lives of, of our, our kids as they're growing up, and to give them the best possible education and to teach them that we're here to be a constitutional government, not a government that does everything for everybody. So um, please consider that. I'd love to have uh, some company on the school board. And thank you for everything that you did back in 2008 to help me get elected. And uh, I look forward to uh, continuing to serve you in the future. Thank you. We have uh, Donna Schmidt, who ran for city council in 2008, and uh, she has some supporters that would like to introduce her. Without getting paid, 
Um, and sitting through some of these long meetings, as you probably know if you ever watch them on TV. And uh, I, and as some of you know, we were able to defeat the RIPS program twice. <laughs> and I, had, I had faithful people to help me pass out flyers to get the information out so that it, you could be informed as to what was going on. Um, we also were able to defeat the smoking ban in smoke shops. <laughs> I am not a smoker, but it didn't make sense that you couldn't smoke at a smoke shop. I'm sorry. Uh, but, and as a council member, I will have actually more privileges. I'll be more privileged to be able to support you better as a council member. I'll be able to, able to fight for your rights even better than I can right now as, as a planning and zoning person. Um, I will advocate for fiscal responsibility. That is something that needs to be done across the board in the city, starting at the city level, the school board, all the way to the state, and all the way to, to federal level. We need, it needs to start at the city level. Again, my name is Donna Schmidt, and I am going to ask for your vote for the election this fall. Thank you. I would like to mention, uh, we were gonna have uh, Gordon back on um, come and speak. He had a conflict tonight. That was the first time in missed a in 24 years, 26 years. Um, but he was uh, victorious uh, on the school board in Fridley, and uh, very conservative member, former House representative. Uh, next up, we have uh, City City. We're going to go with uh, Bob Odden, who uh, ran for mayor in Columbia Heights. Hey, thanks for showing up. Uh, it's really terrific to have uh, people participate in caucuses. This is where change happens if we want to create change. This gives us the choices uh, that we can vote for that are palatable, <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, thank you for being here. Uh, the reason I'm running for mayor is that I think the mischief all starts at the cities. Uh, cities always want to do more than what they're capable of. So what do they do? They go to the county and they ask the county for aid. And then they, they go up to the state. I think one of the biggest lobbyists is the Minnesota League of City of Cities. They're always lobbying the, uh, the legislature. They're always trying to get more money. Uh, and of course, you know, once they find ways to give them money, they can find ways to give the unions money. And they can find ways to give all these other groups money. Money that they don't deserve money that gives them power over your lives, takes away your ability to make choice. Uh, the city council is ignoring us. Uh, at the last budget meeting, a number of people got up that are retired, and they said, you know, you can't keep giving us 15% increases every year. And they say they're going to do this at four time infinitum. I mean, there's no end to it, as far as they're concerned. Uh, then they came back and said, well, you know, we're just skin flints, and we don't want to pay for the services that we're getting from the city. Well, you know, the operating budget, which includes the police department, the fire department, whatever, went up by 2%. Well, I don't think any, anyone there objected to a 2% increase. People were objecting to the 15% increase, uh, and they weren't listed. So, they, uh, then they did that with the activity center. We voted on that activity center. We voted it down, 70% to 30%. In a special election, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, usually the, uh, the opponents don't show up for a special election, and that's why they had it. But what was it, one month after a general election? Uh, ribs. Yeah, we voted it down twice now. Uh, well, we got the city council the first time to uh, not to delay the vote, but we made them vote right then and there. Uh, and they never could was it, argue the point that I kept making was is that if you 
own something, you don't need to get permission from somebody else to sell it. 